This week, the World Bank is set to begin its second round of global consultations with development partners, including civil society groups, regarding its recently released and highly scrutinized social and environmental safeguards. The first draft of the bank's document was leaked to several development groups last week and was met with immediate scrutiny. One controversial change in this draft is the World Bank's ability to defer to a country's own social and environmental framework when appropriate. And many development groups are wondering what the criteria is to meet that when appropriate wording. Meanwhile, aid groups are struggling to deal with a massive outbreak of Ebola in West Africa, which has now spread to Sierra Leone and Liberia. Close to 700 confirmed and suspected deaths have been reported since February. The World Health Organization's Ebola Coordination Hub was set up last week at the request of West African leaders, and it will serve as a clearinghouse to better understand the epidemic and also to communicate priorities to governments and respondents in the affected countries. Those directing programs in the affected countries are communicating that health workers are extremely overwhelmed and tired, which can obviously increase the risk of contagion. And the World Health Organization is saying that it does need to boost its numbers of health workers in these affected areas. We are continuing to monitor the situation in East Africa, where a few days after the Peace Corps announced that it would be pulling its volunteers out of Kenya, VSO also confirmed to DevEx that it would not be sending any further volunteers to the country after its current volunteers finish in August. Both groups have said they will suspend operations in the country until it can meet safety requirements for its volunteers. Here in the U.S., about 500 young African leaders have spent the last six weeks at various universities across the United States as part of the Young African Leaders Initiative. They've been learning networking skills and leadership skills that they can take back to their countries to help build businesses and address peace and security issues. There were several big announcements surrounding this YALI event in Washington. President Obama earlier this week announced a $38 million commitment from USAID along with partners like MasterCard Foundation that will help to establish regional leadership centers throughout Africa in Ghana, Senegal, South Africa, and Kenya. Uh, these will act as hubs for young emerging leaders in Africa and will be run as public-private partnerships. In other talks this week, young African leaders were asking about entrepreneurship, uh, the African Growth and Opportunity Act, as well as gender equality issues and youth involvement in Africa. And all of these are issues that will most likely be addressed as their leaders gather in Washington next week for the first ever U.S. Africa Leaders Summit. So for that coverage and many more developing stories, check devx.com.